Hunter, who you got before you go? Piedmont versus Putnam City Piedmont, North. Piedmont, definitely. I heard Putnam City was not good. <laughs> um, I'm going to go 21-10 Piedmont. All right. Thanks, dude. Yo. Thanks, sir. What is up, everybody? It's, uh, it's me, Ian, again. Welcome to Vlog 5. Holy cow. Um... So we're about to leave. Uh, we're gonna head to. Uh, we're gonna head back home. Uh, I I don't have to be there until five, so I'm gonna go have lunch with my dad, and uh, yeah, so and then we'll we'll talk about the game soon. I'm not gonna record my lunch with my dad, um, so don't ask. Um, yeah, week two, baby, let's go. I swear to y'all, Oklahoma just has the most bizarre weather in general last week it was like 90 this week it's been like 59 it's 59 right now and it's been just pretty cold it doesn't make any sense whatsoever but man i i just <laughs> obligatory weather talk there you go um just, next week it's gonna be like 80 again so i mean it, fall is it Yay? <laughs> Ice cream truck! Ice cream truck! Yo! We coming for you! <laughs> Yo! I love a good bluebell ice cream. High key. Danny, comment your favorite ice cream flavor or whatever down below. Alright, we are about to go to the stadium. I got jeans on. <laughs> I haven't had jeans on in forever. This is amazing. Um, so yeah, let's hit the road real quick. I need a mask. Me and McGain hate COVID. All right, time to set the table for this uh, this game. It is Piedmont versus Putnam City North. They have never played each other in football. So this is the first time Piedmont has seen them. First time, first time Putnam City North has seen Piedmont. You know, I think I, I think I said the same thing twice, but it is what it is. So I'll tell you, I my first game I called with crossover radio was a Putnam City Putnam City North game at Putnam City North. This is the second year of their new stadium, so I was at the first game. For their new stadium and I gotta tell you it's nice and you'll see a video of it in a minute it's a really nice stadium all, all the Putnam City stadiums are nice but that uh, both both uh, North and Putnam City West uh, just have beautiful stadiums uh, the brand new stadiums uh, PCO has a has a good good stadium too new newly renovated newly renovated um, but they finished six and four last year in six a one, missed the playoffs. So they've moved down. At, in Oklahoma football, there is a six a one and a six a two. So the top the the sixteen most populated high schools. I guess that's gonna that's the word I'm gonna use. The um, 16 most populated high schools are in 6A1. Uh, the next 16 are brought down to 6A2. With the district realignments, they've been bumped down to 6A2, where I think they're going to have a lot of success. And 6A2 is where they've had a lot of success. And I'm thinking that this year, I think, I think they'll make a semifinal in 6A2. I think they'll get really close because I feel like they have their talent on the wide receiver position and the skill positions. It all comes down to their sophomore quarterback. So we'll see how that goes. I was talking to uh, one of my uh, Putnam City friends who, who's on the uh, broadcast for Putnam City original football, and he said that he – there was a couple of interceptions that he threw that weren't interceptions, but like they were dropped. So he's thinking that Piedmont Stevens is going to have a field day. So we'll see. 
the Oklahoman has this game as a uh, top 10 game. They put it at number 9. As well as, uh, they also predicted Piedmont would win by uh, 13. So there's that. For my money, I'm probably going to go with Hunter's picks. <laughs> you got you to you gotta love them, man. That's, that's our new, that's the greatest segment. Besides dad joke of the week, so. <laughs> All right, let's get to the stadium. There it is, Putnam City North. Let's have some fun. receivers right one to the left Deshaun Ditton is the receiver and Laverty throws it to the corner to Noenko and Decada Warrior comes over with a huge hit to break up a sure touchdown there and Warrior now comes up limping a little bit as he heads back to formation but an amazing play defensive play there from Warrior the play is not dead until the whistle is blown. That would have been an easy touchdown, but Decada kept fighting. Made sure that pass was incomplete as it bobbled out of Nwakwo's hands. Runs right, but Denton cuts it back left. He's going to be grabbed by the shoulder pad by Hendren. What a great play, Caden Hendren holding up Denton long enough for everyone on the Piedmont defense to get there and make the stop. Loss of three back to the 13-yard line. Saved what would have been a sure touchdown. Credit to the Putnam City North offensive line. They contained that defensive front right there. And that was great. That was a great play from Caden Hendren. 55-yard line. Wide receiver to either side. Mars was moving out for a pitch. Fumbled the football, and it's going to be Putnam City North with the recovery once again. I am having a very bad day. just coming off the wagon very early here for Piedmont. Their second, tur third turnover of the first half, and with 10-10 to go before halftime, Putnam City North with the ball first and 10 at the Piedmont 23-yard line. Wow, that was, uh... wow. Uh, you got to get better holding on to the ball. That's, it's been a problem. Three wide receivers left, one to the right. Takes the snap. The give. Nope. He keeps it around the right side. Is stood up by Edwards. And he falls forward across the line to gain for the first down. Strong running there by Levi Davis. Great run there. That's a pickup of seven and a first down for the Wildcats. Just kept on trucking a lawn. Dope for the first down. Levi Davis is putting some life into this Piedmont offense. Hopefully, they can keep this momentum going. With a blocked field goal, you have the momentum in your favor, despite the score. Two wide receivers left. None to the right here. Decatur Warrior in as the A-back. They give either side. Davis and a quarterback, two backs behind him. Fakes it, trying to probe inside, gets inside the 10, but no farther. We'll give it back to the eight at the original line of scrimmage. 
They're burning out Bo Phelps. It looks like they're burning out the kicking unit. Preston Fancher could not get anything there. Credit to Putnam City North's defense. They got it done. If you're Piedmont, you just want points on the board. So that's where they're going with the field goal right here. So Fancher, who knocked in a field goal last week against El Reno, wasn't the prettiest field goal. So we'll see how this goes. A 25-yard field goal from dead center. Snap, hold, kick is on the way. Looks good, and it is good. Fantastic Preston kick. Preston Fancher with a 25-yard field goal puts Piedmont on the board. Our new score, Putnam City North 19, Piedmont 3. Stays in on third down and six. Two wide receivers either side for Laverty. Back to pass, looking left. Fires it to the sideline, and it is caught right at the sticks by Jeff Nwankwo. And that'll be a first down at the 45-yard line of Piedmont. Right at the sticks. Look like the Piedmont. Look at my gown, I ain't got to play. My coaches were trying to advocate he had come down out of bounds, but to no avail. Um, that did not go as planned. Um, 39 to 3 loss uh, for Piedmont. Um, it got really chippy at the end, um, which is unfortunate. We, I get, I get why, like the chimney, like nobody wants to lose like that. But you gotta, you can't afford to get angry because that's gonna cost you 15 yard penalties. All you gotta do, I guess, is just bounce back next week. And again, fair play to Putnam City North. They they played really well. They're, I think they're gonna be a top four team in 6A2. So yeah, that's uh, that's about it. This is. I'm hoping they bounce back next week because I don't like covering losses. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, like. Subscribe, standard YouTube stuff. I don't know. And, uh, peace, God bless.